Have you ever tried to put the best parfums to Marley in order of your top 10 favorite? It's not easy to do, but I'm gonna do my best right here from Osme Perfumery in Miami. My top 10 all-time parfums to Marley. So stay tuned to find out what the list is. Alright guys, welcome back here to Osme Perfumer. You can see quite a collection of beautiful artwork. Is that artwork or is that perfume? Is that fragrance? What, what do we got? Ah, for those of you in the know, that's Parfums de Marley. Ten beautiful, striking, stunning pieces of just art sitting in front of me here. And what I'm doing today is my top ten Parfums de Marley fragrances. These are gonna be masculine, so I'm not going with the feminine ones. This is gonna be more of a masculine fragrance list. Let's get right into it. Coming in, number 10 is one of their newest releases. Actually, I put this in here, Greenly. Greenly I like because it's, it's different from all the others. It's, uh, first of all, the bottle is this green, beautiful, translucent bottle. But on top of that, I like that it's kind of a fresh uh, fragrance. They're, they've done quite a few freshies in the last few years, but this one's different because it's got apple, it's got bergamot, and it's got cedar. I love cedar. And I just, you know, again, it's got this kind of green note to it, which is a little bit different for them. So I'm putting this in at number 10. And it's also, I think, technically their newest release. Number nine is, whoa, what a bottle, right? Godolphin. Godolphin, Godolphin, however you want to pronounce it. This has been around for a while, probably a little bit of a controversial pick. I know not everybody loves this one, but you know what I like about this? It's because of the uniqueness, the note specifically that I like are mate and rose. Mate, for, the user, for those of you that don't know, is a tea that, is, uh, that they drink mostly in Argentina. And here in Miami, we have a lot of Argentinians, so mate is very popular here. It's a very intense, strong tea. So I love this fragrance. Um, and it's not really fruity, and it's got a nice leather dry down, very masculine, great fragrance. All right, number eight, one of the most popular in this house, Carlisle, a legend for everyone who likes Parfums de Marley. A lot of people, this is their favorite. It's simple, it's basic, it's brilliant. It is got green apple, it's got nutmeg, it's got rose, it's got patchouli. It almost comes across a little bit metallic to me, and the, therefore I think this bottle suits it well. But can't go wrong with this. It's, it's one of the classics. It's one of their best sellers. All right, number seven, another controversial pick for a lot of you out there. This is Kalan. Love the bottle. This came out, you know, probably about a year and a half ago. It's still one of the best sellers here at Osme. You know, you go online, people love this or they hate it. It's a spicy, peppery, blood orange, Tonka Amber Beast. On my skin, this lasts all day. Little little interesting thing, when I first reviewed this, when it first came out, I actually gave it a not so great review. And then after a couple of weeks of wearing it a lot more, this wore on me and it's now in my top 10. So for those of you who maybe don't like it initially, I would say give it a shot. It's gonna wear on you. I like it a lot. Number six, another one of the classics of the house. This is Layton. Layton is, again, probably a lot of your favorites, you know, a lot of your uh, people out there, your favorite one in the house. It's put Parfums de Mali on the map. I mean, it's really just classic masculine fragrance, apple, lavender, violet, jasmine. It's spicy. It's got pepper. It's got cardamom. It's got guyac wood, which I love in a fragrance. Anything with guyac wood, I'm probably going to love it. Layton, of course, not much else to say. Brilliant. All right. Let's go right into the top five. This is Ojan. 2013 release. Came out kind of with a sister fragrance, which I'll get to in a bit. But this one, similar, well, I'll mention it's Hobdon. This one is similar to Hobdon, but this one has got a little bit, it's a little bit darker. It's got more cinnamon. It's got honey. It's got, again, this apple cinnamon pie vibe. It's definitely a fall kind of winter fragrance. It almost reminds me of Halloween time. Uh, I really like it. I've always enjoyed it. It's a little bit darker than Hobdon if you don't like, uh, you know, that particular smell. Number four, another giant, giant, giant here in the Parfums de Marley world, Pegasus. What a cool bottle. Really, as you can see from the other bottles, it's, it's kind of unique. It's a silver, shiny, uh, you know, just metallic glass bottle. This one has got... 
So Pegasus is your classic oriental fougere. It's got almond, it's got lavender, it's powdery, it's got that from the sandalwood in the base. This is one of the giants, again, in the Parfums de Marley world. Bottle is beautiful. It sells extremely well still. And in fact, a lot of you know they just released in the last couple of months Pegasus Exclusive, which is a little bit updated, more modern version of Pegasus. Pegasus is still, again, in my top four. I think it's just a classic. All right, now we're down to the top three. This one is probably a surprise, Sedley. This is a freshy, a freshy's freshy. It's got mint, it's got lemon, it's got orange, it's got lavender, cedar, patchouli. It reminds me almost of mint julep and like a cola-like feel to it, which makes it so unique and stand out. Uh, Perfumes de Marley has a number of freshies. You can even look at Percival. Uh, again, I mentioned, um, you know, I, I guess you could even consider Greenly a freshie. This to me is their best freshie. To me, this one stands out. I know a lot of you probably like Percival better. That's a little bit of a personal choice, but I gotta say, if you like a freshie, go with that. Number two, what can I say? Herod. Herod may be the most popular Perfumes de Marley out there. It's just still a perennial bestseller. It's cinnamon, it's pepper, it's got great tobacco smell with this incense. This is one of their original gourmand fragrances. They don't do a lot of gourmand. Most of their fragrances are kind of this oriental sweet fougere, and they can kind of cross into gourmand. This is gourmand. A lot of people compare it to tobacco vanille, but what I like about this one, at least on my skin, it's just like all Parfums de Marley fragrances, total beast mode, and you know, projection, and it just, again, I guess what what differentiate, differentiates it me from uh, differentiates it for me is the fact that it's got that kind of cinnamon, pepper, vanilla, incense note that separates it. All right, number one, I alluded to it earlier, Hobdon. Hobdon. This is my favorite. It's in my collection. It's got so much much more depth to me than Ojan. It's brighter, it's smoother. It's also got an apple cinnamon vibe, but to me, instead of like a pie, it's almost like the smell that's wafting when you smell uh, apple cinnamon tea or maybe even the cooking of a pie. And that's, all, it's just, again, I think the smoothness is owed a lot to the caramel in it and the myrrh. And this is one of my most beast mode fragrances. When I put it on in the morning, it's on there all day, 12, 15 hours. It's projecting. It's off my skin. It jumps off. It gets noticed. It gets compliments. People love it. Uh, it's just, again, probably not everyone's first number one pick, but for me, this is my list, and it's my number one. So there you have it, my top 10 Parfums de Marley. Let me know what you guys think. Let me get your comments, guys. Let me know what your favorite ones are. People love this house. It's a great house. It's one of the best. I'd love to hear your comments. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and like the video if you think it was a good video. And of course, you can always ring the bell for notifications. This is Joel the Nose, and I will be back soon with another video.